doing a workout with bands. This is a booty band and I put it above my knees and I'm pushing out. It works my side hips, my glutes. Remember, these are very small movements. My back is flat and I'm pulling my stomach in at the same time. My feet are flexed. And I'm doing 10 reps of everything. I'm taking that band. I'm gonna put it around my ankles. And now I'm gonna push out again. You're gonna find out it's gonna hit your uh, glute knee all the way down your knees, all the way down to your glute. And I'm just doing a very small push out squeeze. Again, my back is flat. And if you need to put your hands underneath your back so that your back doesn't hurt, that's perfect. Now, we're gonna also go into a, a glue raise. So I have the big band, I call it a booty band, right above my knees. And I'm just slightly pushing out and squeezing my glutes, my backside. Each exercise that we're doing today is gonna hit a different area. You can see it's very slight. And then I do a release. Pulling out just slightly and squeezing my glute. Push with your heels and, and make sure that you keep your stomach and just pull it into your spine. You're gonna see a great deal of difference. Now, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm taking my glutes up and I have the booty band on. What I'm doing is I am working the hamstrings as well by single leg training. This will really kind of bug you. It's, I mean, it's, it's very hard, but it's hard for everybody, including me. But this will give you a pain-free back. Pulling your stomach in. You're coming up by squeezing my glutes all the way down, actually into my, my calves. My foot is flexed towards the ceiling, switching legs, coming up. Again, small movements, and you will see a big difference in your stability, your balance, your back. These are the little muscles that nobody really shows you, but as I've been going to physical therapy, these are crucial for your backside, which it controls so much. If you don't have strength in your glutes, you'll lose your balance and your back will hurt. Now what I'm going to do is I got still got the band and I'm just pushing out. It's more the inner thigh. I'm just kind of pushing away a little bit and then coming in. It's, it's like a sliding board. If you kind of look at my, my posture, I'm, it's like I am in alignment. I believe in lines and looking at lines for posture, for form, and the little movements are gonna hurt you worse than the big movements in a good way. Now, again, my back is flat, my knees are bent. I still have the booty bed on, and I am not gonna bring my knees to my arms. I'm taking my arms my knees and when I come up I'm pulling in and I'm blowing all the air out back flat remember you have got to be very persistent with keeping your back flat it'll cause you otherwise if you don't keep your back flat you're not going to be working the core like you planned on a lot of the exercises that we do don't even really focus on the muscles because we have those little weak ones. In order to get work the bigger areas, you really have to do foundation work. It's so much fun. So I am going to, you can do one or two ways. Well, this way here, I'm on my side pulling my stomach in and I got my band right above my knee a little bit further, and I'm coming out to squeeze my hip. It's so important. Now, watch my foot. Now, I'm taking it, foot to the toe, now I'm taking my knee in. It's like a clamshell, but it, it is difficult. 
none of these movements. If the booty band's too heavy, you can go with no weight or, you know, a PT band. Because a lot of us don't have that strength. So you can do with you can do this without a band. So I'm switching sides, the same thing. You can kind of see it a little bit better how that toe is. And really, you're going to find one side that's just going to be weaker than the other. And that's why we do single sides. I do like these moves. And I believe that this video, it's hard to make a video, but this video represents a lot of different tissue muscles. Such strengthening your back, your glutes. It's going to make a huge difference everyday life. I just take that knee in, and then I got my toe. So now, we're going to go right into laying, stacking your legs. Okay, you're going to stack your legs. And I just have the band on that's really not doing anything. Maybe a little bit, but the small move. I'm stacking my body. I'm coming up, and I'm hitting that glute that fanny around the back and the side. If you have weak knees, you know, this is also a blessing to do that will help the knees because it's probably because the muscles around the knees are weak. And I'm doing 10 on each side. There's a series of three. Now, you can see it. I'm kicking my foot out towards the front and then back out small movements big movements don't do it if you're not feeling it slow it down and do the smaller movements and now I'm doing circles tiny little circles and you'll want to stop because it burns so bad but don't stop you can just take a rest or a minute catch your breath pull your abs in and go we're doing this because it's hard and because it's necessary and once I do 10 that direction I'm going to switch directions and come back around the other way it's small movements very small I think you'd be quite glad with the workout that we're going to what you're seeing right here because you can actually do this on a daily basis I mean, it's not going to take that much time, and it takes no space at all. And it, it has big benefits. So I'm going to switch over to the other side. I would start with the weaker leg first, so if you're right hand, start your leg leg up. But now you're going to still feel that this is going to be hard. Because you just did the other side. Think. I'm stacking. My foot is dorsiflexed. I'm just coming out and I'm thinking about contracting. You're going to feel the, the burn all the way up your leg. Like I said, you got to take a few seconds, but keep going because you can do it. Keep going because it hurts, because it's uncomfortable. It's totally okay. Um, when I started this, it was very difficult for me. Now I'm going to the circles. And, and believe me, the smaller the circle, the harder it is. You definitely don't need any weight with this particular movement. Abs are stacked, my back is flat, feet are flexed. Keep going. You got this. You definitely got it. Nice. And squeeze. Actually, I'm taking my leg, kicking my leg out. It looks like a circle, but the series is circles, kick out at first, and then do the circles. Or, you know, it really doesn't matter. It, it's... It's, uh, it doesn't matter as long as you do all of them the same on the other side. I did a voiceover because the, the gym is too loud. 
So now I'm going to do a little core work for you. Now, if this is too much, do not do it. But right here, I got my legs out. And then I'm slowly going vertebrae by vertebrae down. You might not be able to do this. If you can't, you can lift up your shoulder blades as high as you can and blow out. And it really doesn't matter. I'm showing you different arm movements. You don't really need to do a particular one. You can go one-on-one. -on -one. I just switch it up. And I reach up so my spine is straight. But the going down is a vertebrate by vertebrate. And it, it is. So you're going to find that's a really tough one. But these are really going to make a difference. Okay. This is kind of cool. This is, uh, I've got my abs pulled in. My arms are straight. I'm taking my hands and I'm placing them behind right alignment with my shoulder. These are marching abs. I'm pulling my belly button in and just kicking my foot out, squeeze. Because I think kind of planks are boring, but I do like this because it, it, it's a little harder and, um, and I feel a little bit more. You can start with like 10 on each side and you can always go up. So you want to drop down and stretch. So you're going to stretch like a frog. Your legs are open and you drop your spine, put your chest to the floor and just breathe through that stretch. Breathe through that stretch. You'll need it. You're going to come up with extension for your back back needs extension it's really really important and then I'm gonna come back down like a like a cat like a yawning cat and then come down and then push up it's pretty cool and then back in kind of alternate it now this is the fun part you've done the work and I appreciate you watching this it also helps me because it's part of the therapy that I have been working on. So I got, this is a 90-90 stretch. You can see one leg is one direction 90 and the other one's 90. I'm trying to move it around so you can see it better, okay? My stomach is flat. My back is flat and I'm going to feel that stretch. Just breathe. Inhale can breathe. I'm coming over to my foot to get a better stretch. And switching legs. It's so good. <clears throat> Here you go. My back is flat straight up. I'm going to feel the stretch in my hip. My hip flexor because the hips, we worked a lot of hips today. Like I said, I, I'm really pleased with this video. It shows different things that you can do in the privacy of your home or at the gym. I'll see you, Stephanie Carlson, think then in the next video. Bye-bye.